Demosthenes, a Greek orator, was quoted as saying, quote, What a man wishes, that also he believes. End quote. Now, this can apply to gambling and other things of that nature. You see, if you were to compute the probability of you successfully winning a lottery or successfully winning a lot of these gambling games, you'll see that your chances are rather slim. And yet the gambler keeps on gambling. He believes that he's going to win, and his belief is as good as reality. Because he believes it, or wishes for it, in his mind, it's going to happen. This is the over-optimistic tendency. When we start becoming over-optimistic in terms of the situations that are going to happen in our life. When we start thinking that good things should happen to us. Where naturally, that's not the way it is. Good things don't happen to you from the virtue of you wanting them. Good things happen to you from the virtue of you applying the necessary work for them to be completed. Now, Seneca, a Greek philosopher, was quoted as saying, quote, You will hear many men saying, After my 50th year, I shall retire into leisure. My 60th year shall, retire, shall release me from public duties. And what guarantee have you that your life will last longer? End quote. Now that line was from the shortness of life. And if you think about it, a lot of people are always talking about their plans for when they're 30, 40, 50, how they're going to retire to you know the Greek islands or whatnot, have a million dollar business. It's generally a lot of over optimism. We have no guarantee that we're going to live up to 60, 70, but people tend to forget about the morality due to this tendency. They see themselves being 80 with the grandkids and, you know, a nice house and a good career finish. But this is pure over optimism. You don't get to that position just from virtue of you wanting to be in that position. Sometimes you won't even make it that far and there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes your work ethic won't be good enough for you to be in the position that you once thought that you would hold. So you need to be very careful about this over-optimism. And the best way to guide yourself against it is understanding probability and also having an objective view on the amount of work it takes to accomplish certain things. Because people tend to underestimate the degree of work that's necessary to accomplish certain things so having the real expectations for that would definitely help another thing that can help is also escaping the view of the universe as being self-orientated thinking that the world revolves around you a lot of people walk around the world thinking that they are the main character of some movie they have a disregard of other people's lives or other people's wishes of how dynamic the world is how many different things are going on and this disregard for how vast our universe is and how you know dynamic it is leads them to start being over optimistic because they think that everything centers around them once you get rid of this self-orientated view of the universe it is a lot easier to be objective and to see things as they are